I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice question for you. We need to solve equations with variables on both sides. You have two equations here. 5x minus 3x equals to 4x plus 9 and the other one is 5y plus y equals to 2y minus 8. Let us see how to solve them one by one. You can actually pause the video, solve it on your own and check with my solution. So first step is bringing variables to one side. So we'll prefer to bring them on the left side. The equation is 5x minus 3x equals to 4x plus 9. Let us first simplify what we have on the left side. We have like terms 5x and 3x. So 5x minus 3x is 2x. So let's simplify them and write 2x equals to 4x plus 9. That is a better step. Now we will take away 4x from both sides. So we have 2x minus 4x equals to 4x plus 9 minus 4x. Subtracting 4x from both the sides will give us minus 2x on the left side and 9 on the right side. Now to solve, what should we do? We should divide both sides by minus 2, right? That is what we should do. So x is equals to minus 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So that becomes this solution for the first equation. For the second equation, let us do the same process once again. You can actually pause the video now, solve it and then check with my solution. We will follow exactly the same steps. First step is to simplify, right? So we will simplify and once we simplify, we get equation with variables on both the sides and then we will subtract variables which will be minus 2y, right? So subtract this number, right? From, I, sh I should write plus this number or subtract 2y and then you simplify again and then you divide and get the answer. So these are the steps. So let's begin. 5y plus y is 6y. So we get 6y equals to 2y minus 8. Now we have to take away 2y from both the sides. We get 6y minus 2y equals to 2y minus 8 minus 2y. 6y minus 2y is 4y that is 2y minus 2y is 0 that was the whole objective to take away 2y so we are left with minus 8 now we have to divide by 4 to get the answer right so we will divide by 4 on both the sides so we get y equals to minus 2 so y equals to minus 2 is the answer for the second question i hope you understand the steps now so do a few more questions and then move on to next variety of equations. Thank you and all the best.